Welcome back to the homestead. All right, today we're talking water and water crisis. Are you prepared? Seriously, water is the most essential prepper ingredient there is, and maybe one of the under talked about preps altogether. So we're gonna have a discussion about it. Um, if you're not thinking about water, you need to watch this video because I'm gonna come and I'm gonna singe your eyebrows, baby. I'm gonna freak you out a little bit. Okay? because it can happen to you. And I'm gonna tell you the story of Spring City, Utah and what's happening to them coming up. All right, let's just do a little thought experiment. If there were some emergency or some disaster and the water that comes out of your tap dried up or if it was contaminated would you be able would you be prepared to have enough needs as far as the water goes for two weeks well the situation i'm talking about is actually very real if you're a resident of spring city i mean think about that the irony spring city i mean this place is known for water like this is literally like the best water you can drink in utah it's just a, from their free flowing well here and people come from like all around the county to come and drink water at Spring City. Well, guess what? For two weeks now, they have been on a mandatory boil order for their city water. For two weeks. And you know, what's happened is a lot of people were drinking the water before they realized that we, they had an E. coli issue and they're sick. So they've had multiple people confirmed E. coli because uh, their drinking water is contaminated. I have a really good friend, her son, who is a very athletic person, uh, same thing. He's just having the massive stomach cramps and stomach issues. His is not confirmed E. coli, but it's probably what it is. So I'm telling you this because if you're not seeing the relevance that it has to you, then you're not thinking because what happens when it comes to your city? I'm just saying if it can happen to Spring City, Utah, literally, the city of water, <laughs> you know, if it can happen there, then it can happen anywhere. So where I live in Manti, uh, right now, we don't, we don't really know about this headline, but they, there's a, a water leak up our canyon. And so as far as now, it hasn't contaminated the water, but the, the water feeding into our water storage, there's a, there's a major leak. And so they're sending off to get a part to fix that. Okay, now we're gonna do just a little bit of a doomsday scenario um, exercise in our heads, okay? All right, imagine this. Let's say that there was an earthquake. Heaven forbid there was an earthquake. Let's say it was a big enough one that it did damage in multiple cities. So if you had, like, like my city currently has, an issue with their, their supply lines up the canyon that they're waiting to get a part for, well, if there's an earthquake that disrupted um, multiple lines in multiple cities so that there was this rush um, and need for massive amount of plumbing supply and parts to, to fix the issue. Um, how long do you think it's going to take your city to get their water back up online? Think about that. Okay, well, if they're having an issue, water does, doesn't, you know, grow on trees. <laughs> you know, it comes from the mountain, but it has to be clean. If, there, if there's a break, so if there's an earthquake and you have multiple breaks in the line, you might have running water, but perhaps that water's contaminated, like here in the good old city of Spring City. And you know, you might think that, well, it's okay, I can just drink the water because I'm healthy, I drink from a spring all the time. Well, I don't know about my friend's boy, but he's, he's a healthy teenage boy and, and he's pretty sick, <laughs> you know? Healthy people can get sick too from contaminated water. So this whole exercise is what have you done to prepare for that kind of a crisis? I've actually done, but this video is to wake you up. So, okay, in the situation here, if you had water running from the tap, do you have a, a water filter? You know, and if you don't, it, it, let's say you don't have a lot of money, get on Amazon right now and just buy those life straws, the little, the little purifier straws. If you can afford it, do you have like a Berkey or an Alexa Pure? I actually use an Alexa Pure, but I think Berkey and Alexa Pure are very similar. I don't think there's a right or wrong answer, but do you have a water filter? 
If not, do you plan on literally boiling contaminated water every time you want to brush your teeth or wash your face or take a drink? If you have a lot of dehydrated stuff like I do, or freeze-dried stuff, sorry, like I do, um, if, if you're eating a lot of freeze-dried goods and you're not drinking actually twice as much water as you normally do, you know what happens when the human body eats a lot of freeze-dried food? Yeah. It'll do the, uh, the, the absolute opposite of what E. coli does. E. e coli makes things run plentifully. Uh, if, you, <laughs> if you're eating dried goods and uh, you're not compensating with water, it's gonna plug things right up, baby. You thinking about that? So in other words, if you're storing a lot of rice and beans and freeze-dried stuff, you need more water than you can even imagine. What are you doing? So right now, it's a crisis for this little city I mean, I shouldn't say crisis, it's an inconvenience. It's a massive inconvenience. But right now, they're not, they're not vying for uh, parts or competing for parts with you know, a Mount Pleasant or a Manti or whatever. You know, why do I bring that up? Okay. It's been about two years since we had that big freeze that happened down in Texas. A perfect storm came and just froze all of that, like all around where there's the oil and gas refineries and you know, all around that Houston area. I believe it was Houston. Um, and they had all of these pipes break. So you had two things that resulted from that. You had all of the petroleum products like the spray foams and, and uh, your water barrels, like the 50 gallon drums, as well as the bigger stuff, all of your corrugated plastic piping. That became really expensive. Why? Because all of their pipes froze. So all of, all of this piping network that they put their plastics in broke. Well, it also happened in their houses. So their houses, they're, I mean, they're not used to the things freezing down there. And all of a sudden they had massive amounts of, of leaks. Well, when you go to the Home Depot and your whole town of a million plus people have broken pipes, do you think you're gonna be able to find the fittings? Do you think you're gonna find PEX fittings? Uh, little rings for your clamps? You're not and that's what happened is that these people were in chaos I mean all of, but but we still had the whole infrastructure of the nation all the Home Depot network to go and rush in all these massive amounts of, uh, of The surge of parts needed Okay, so that's really yes a crisis But it could be a lot worse because what happens if there's some kind of a disaster in multiple Houston, Texas at the same time well if you've got a, a leak in your house you might have to turn the whole system off because of one leak, because you're waiting on one part, because millions of people need that one part. Okay, I told you I was trying to singe your eyebrows. <laughs> so um, I want you to think that way because if you don't have water set up, if you don't have backups and maybe a backup to your backup, what are you doing? So just a thought. If you had um, access to some fresh water, do you have uh, do you have containers to put it in? So these little containers you used to get them like seven to ten bucks, and now they're like fifteen dollars at Walmart. I get it, fifteen dollars is too much, but you better have something. You know, how many of you have empty water barrels in the in the in your basement or in your garage? Fill it up. Do it now. Does your town have a, a town spring like this? Like this is the coolest thing I've ever seen. The answer is no. You, you're not gonna be able to do what I just did and what these people are doing, which is just simply go and um, fill up your water barrels at, at the town watering hole. So what's your plan? What's your backup? Am I ready? So I've had many moments of, Nate, are you ready? that have come to me in my preparation lifestyle throughout the, throughout the years. And I'm grateful for every, every time I'm reminded of something like what Spring City's going through. Because um, it, look at this house, by the way. Is that just fantastic? <laughs> Gosh, what a beautiful backdrop. The house, not me, the, the house, the house, beautiful. Um, anyway, so anytime that I, I get a moment like this to just kind of survey and inventory my preps, um, I like to do it. I'm always thinking there's, there's more I can do. So I suggest that you, you, uh, you know, get with your family and you come up with a plan. You know what? I, I saw this nut job 
uh, over in Spring City just being an alarmist with all this YouTube clickbait telling me I need to get water. <laughs> if that's the conversation that I incite at the family dinner table, here, here, baby, I have succeeded. Yes, be alarmed. Yes, do something about it. And yes, if you're prepared, you shall not fear. At least you'll fear less, right? Again, I think this prepper lifestyle actually decreases anxiety. It doesn't increase it. Because if you're prepared, you know, and something like this happens, you hear your neighboring cities in, in a water crisis, you're going to feel at least a little bit more um, assured and confident that you're ready to fulfill the needs of your family. All right, I've got a hairline fracture just coming off of that copper tube. This is just the pipe that links the two water heaters together. They have so again, my whole system is shut down. I'm now going to fix it, but my whole system is shut down because of one little tiny hole in one pipe. That's what I'm saying. Hey, do me a favor. If you enjoyed this video or found it informative, please give me a like and subscribe to the channel. That's what tells the algorithm that I didn't waste your time and that maybe some other people need to hear this message. Um, ending thought, guys. One blasted part, one little tiny pinhole in this pipe shut down my whole water system. Literally, the day after I filmed in Spring City. Talk about karma. Um, one little germ or bug shut down the whole system in Spring City. Uh, one broken pipe is disrupting the, the water flow to, to Manti's aquifer, to Manti's system. What's going to happen in your day to your water? It's, it will happen, guys. If we have anything catastrophic, will you be prepared? Are you going to act now? I hope so. Get on it. See you next video.